Hello, readers and writers. Welcome to lesson 29 of your ELA School Away From School. I am Mr. Driver, and I'll be your virtual teacher for today's daily lesson. Let's start with some guiding questions. What journey does food take before it gets to your plate? And how do we make decisions about what we eat? Remember, we'll continue addressing these essential questions through all of our work today and for the weeks to come as we keep exploring this important topic. Time to get out some materials for today's work. You're going to need your copy of the text, Grass Fed Cattle Take Slower Path to Market, Filling Small Consumer Niche, your copy of lesson number 29, the lesson number 29 writing activity, as well as the pencil. Go ahead and pause the video here while you make sure you have all your materials you need for today. We have one learning target for today. I can report on a topic with appropriate facts and details, speaking clearly and at an understandable pace. Now remember, whenever you report on a topic, you're basically writing something down first. So it's, you know, you use your writing activity to report on it by writing down what you've learned, facts, you know, knowledge that you've learned from the article. And you wanna make sure that you use details from the text to support those, the knowledge that you've learned. And a lot of times that is just writing uh, the quote exactly as it is, but you wanna find the, the best quote that might support those facts and knowledge. Let's make sure we keep this learning target in mind during all of our work today. First, you'll be rereading Grass-Fed Cattle Take Slower Path to Market, filling a small consumer niche. As you read along with a family member, caregiver, or friend, consider replaying and listening to the text read aloud from Lesson 25. Pause the video here while you return to your reading. Now that you've had a chance to revisit the text, I want you to think about a few things. What main or central ideas from the article would you share? What supporting details or text evidence would you share in support of those? And when purchasing meat, do you feel it's best to buy grass-fed cattle or feedlot cattle? Why? Now, this could be something you've never considered before until reading this article. But if you had to uh, choose a side and you had to think about purchasing meat, think about the pros and cons, the, the strengths and weaknesses for buying grass-fed beef versus feedlot cattle. And remember, the feedlot cattle is the one that is done on the farms where they just really have, it's kind of more of an industrial food type system where they have tons of, of uh, animals, but they also feed it different things. So think about what the article says in support of that or against that. Now it's time to have a discussion with your family member, caregiver, or friend. So when purchasing meat, do you feel it's best to buy grass-fed cattle or feedlot cattle? Why? What are the most important supporting details to support that? So once again, think about what in the article helps to support whether you should buy something or not buy something. Go ahead and pause the video here while you discuss these questions. Please take out your lesson number 29 writing activity sheet. Using the article, grass-fed cattle take slower path to market, filling a small consumer niche, answer the following prompt. Consider the two positions, grass-fed cattle versus feedlot cattle, being argued in this article. You will take a position on which one you think is best and explain why. First, create a poster supporting your position. Next, write five to six sentences answering questions listed below. When purchasing meat, do you feel it is best to buy grass-fed cattle or feedlot cattle? Why? What main or central ideas from the article would you share in support of your position? What supporting details or text evidence best support your claim? And remember, a claim is just basically the position you're taking. It's a statement that you're making. Go ahead and pause the video here while you take time to complete this work. Time to wrap up today's lesson. Let's think about all the work you did with our learning target. I can report on a topic with appropriate facts and details, speaking clearly at an understandable pace. If you haven't had a chance to share out your uh, writing, please share your answers with someone and tell them why you chose to write what you did, but you can also practice, uh, continue practicing that learning target where you speak clearly at an understandable pace, not too fast, not too slow. And also remember a book today for 20 minutes. You can also read with a family member, caregiver, or a friend. Show off your reading fluency and read the passage aloud one last time to a parent, caregiver, or friend. This was a longer article than, than we've had in the past, so please celebrate your reading fluency with a parent, caregiver, or friend. You did great work this week. Congratulations on completing another week's worth of lessons. Next week, we will explore a new article, but explore the same questions about the journey our food takes and how we make decisions about what we eat. Have a great weekend.